Good morning. How is everyone today? Welcome, welcome to Destiny Forever. Destiny is back with another video. I just finished videotaping on my booking platform community out there and I introduced to my audience a new book. You need to go see that video. I just did it about 10 minutes ago, Know Thyself. And it was by Latif Warnick. So if you want to go in and find out what this new book is, that video, I just posted it. It will be uploaded in a little bit later on, but I just did that. I just did that uh, video. So guys, I'm back. And you know what I have been talking about. Destiny has been talking about the male energies and the female energies, the male and the female energies. And that's what all I've been talking about this whole week. And this is what the messages that I am putting out there because this is what I know that the creator is giving me. He's giving me this information and he's giving me this opportunity to stand on this platform now that I'm speaking from Destiny Forever to share this information. He's using me as a vehicle to help put the information to introduce powerful writers and people and teachers and leaders and all those who have this phenomenal information on the masculine and the feminine energy, the male and the female energies. There's so much out there, guys. I'm telling you. He's using me as the research person to go out there and pull this information and bring it to you. So you won't have to go out there and tire yourself out, get frustrated and worried, trying to search and hunt the information down. Hey, he chose me to go out there and to get this information, to find out who these people are, to find out who these phenomenal teachers are. And he gave me your permission to bring this information and put it in front of you. So now your work is easy. All you got to do is watch it, watch it, listen to it. Then take the application of what you're hearing and apply it to your life. That's it. Then you have a choice to choose whether you're going to follow this information, you're going to take this information and share it with other people, or you just going to take this information and change your life. And that's it. I'm just being the vehicle. Good morning again. This is Destiny on a Sunday. It is January 26, 2020. I'm just going to go right into it. Yesterday I did part one. The male energy and the female energy. I did part one yesterday. Choose who you are. Choose. You choose. You choose. You choose the, the energy that you know within you. Go back and look at the video. I'm not going to go through it and explain it all. As I was saying, we do, like I said, we all have both male and female energies in us. And if you don't, if you don't go and listen to the information, if you don't sit down and you have your communication with the divine creator of God and let him open your heart, your eyes, and your mind up as he did me, then you will never get this information. You're going to Start going off on your perceptions and judging things and saying, that's crazy talking. I'm a female. Ain't no male inside of me. I'm a male. And that's so silly. Ain't no male. Ain't no female. Nothing in me. Guys, listen with your heart. Part two today, I'm going to start off. And I'm just going to jump right into it so we can get this over with. Do what I came here to do. And... I'm not here to please not one person on this platform. I'm not here out to please any, any of you guys. I love you dearly with all of my heart. But I'm here because I love what the divine creator, I love what he does. I love the life that he gives me. I love how he takes care of me. I love how he protects me and, and comforts me and, and he cares for me. I love everything about the divine creator because he's me. He's in me. He's a part of me. And so I'm, I'm pleasing what I know that the creator has given me. 
Okay, so the male energy and the female energy part two. You may hear some things that I have already repeated in the previous videos. I told you I posted videos. I have done maybe two or three videos, three videos I believe prior to this. I have posted a lot of information and videos from a whole lot of phenomenal teachers. I'm telling you these people have had these experiences. They have taught this topic for many years. They have done many workshops and they have so much information that can help you to be able to understand all what is being said. I have posted links out there in the description box with each video or article that I have posted. I'm done with that. You may hear information that has already been repeated, repeated previously in my other videos, but guess what? Repetition is another good thing. Keep repeating it, keep repeating it till it resonates something within you, till it clicks something within you and say, hey, I got this. Okay? Here we go. Again, good morning. This is Destiny. It is a beautiful Sunday. And as I said, it is January 26, 2020. I am jumping right into this. And I have said this before. We are all born male and female. But we are not born masculine or feminine. We all have both masculine and feminine energies within us. Yet, we may not be fully aware of what these look like. And as I continue to go further into this topic, then I'm going to open up clarity to what these energies, both male and female energies, what they look like. And you have to listen. You have to hear what I'm saying. Okay? First, I'm going to start out today talking about the masculine energy. The masculine energy is independent and analytical, representing our left brain. When it is used properly, it is sculptured, practical, <laughs> and visionary. I'm going to say that again because I'm going to repeat so you're going to get what I'm saying. Masculine energy is independent and analytical, representing our left brain. When it is used properly, it is sculpture, practical, and visionary. When masculine energy is misused, it can end in ego anger, resentment, and inner conflict that disconnects our minds from our bodies. Now I'm going to tell you a little about the female energy. And the female energy is intelligent and loving energy that contains the quality of our intuition, our passion, our compassion, creativity, emotion, empathy, nurturing, and truth. When you are strong in your feminine energy, you have a strong connection to your body and intuition. And you are able to make decisions based on what you feel in your heart. Feminine energy is a receptive, right-brained energy. Yet, if we are too much in our feminine, then we can come across as weak and lose our personal power. Y'all know the story how they always talk about the female being the weaker side, you know, comparing to the male, the weaker part. I don't know. I'm not going to put, I'm just going to leave that right there. I'm not going to open that up. I'm not saying I agree with that either, okay? But guys, once the person as the feminine energy begin to understand that having some sort of energetic balance brings you into wholeness your softness and strength will push you in a positive direction. In order to strike this balance, remember that the male has an inner feminine energy within him. And the female also has an inner 
masculine en energy within her. Meditate on that. Don't throw that out because you don't understand it. Like I said, get wisdom. Get knowledge. And with all that getting, get understanding. Don't go let your ego uh, push you off thinking that, hey, this information that she's throwing out there is crazy. You got to listen with your heart. Listen to the whole information. You get this information. You allow this information to come into your heart from the universe, from the universe, your God. And he will open up your understanding. Okay? As the Bible said, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, either has it entered the heart of man, the things that the creator God has prepared for you. He has prepared for us to grow to our greater and higher constant state of being so we can leave out of that lower density of our ego, control, and manipulation and with all of that things that the ego has kept us enslaved in all our lives. Hey, that's not where the creator God wants you to be. He wants you to know that self. And just like the book that I posted this morning, you got to know yourself. That is a part of your purpose. That's one of the main things of our purpose why the creator God has us here. Know thyself to awaken to our spiritual higher constant state of being. Don't throw this out. Don't, don't allow the ego to undermine what these teachers and what I'm bringing to you. I'm just the driver of the vehicle. I'm leading you to places and to people who have more information more powerful knowledge and understanding and workshops, seminars, and they have places where you can come and you can get therapy and help and to understand this whole topic. A man or woman who denies their feminine may substitute the like of warmth that they feel in themselves for ambition, attainment, and accomplishment. And live a life guided too much by the mind. While the rational side of thinking does have its place, without heart, it becomes harsh and very cold and very critical. Like I said, you got to listen with your heart. That's the love center. That's your heart chakra. That is where you, this whole journey really kicks off at the heart center. Now you're making that divine connection with your higher self, your God consciousness. The creator universe is there. So without the heart being a part of this journey of your learning this, then you're going to end up very harsh, very cold and very critical, and you're going to shut yourself out and your ears and everything down. You're going to, I ain't got time to hear this, but you're going to lose out on the best part of knowing who you really are. Guys, listen, a man or woman who denies their masculine energy can have trouble standing their ground and making decisions. So, how can you find a balance that works for you? Here's one way I'm going to tell you. Visualizing, breathing. And that is an amazing tool for getting in touch with whatever part of you that is repressed or distorted. Visualization breathing. You gotta see yourself. And breathing. That's breathing exercise is always good to calm down all the negative energies that's flowing in you and all that ego is trying to trap you into further lies. Just Calm down. Take your time and breathe. Visualization breathing. First, we got to start by sitting in a quiet and comfortable space. And you got to bring yourself to complete, total stillness. And you got to bring yourself right into that now moment. Letting go of all the things that no longer serve you. Let go of all the lies. Just let go of everything. All the confusions, all the hurts, I don't care whatever it is, all the, all the misrepresentations, just let go of everything that has no purpose in your life. Then you breathe deeply into your belly for a few minutes. Just sit still and quiet and breathe into your belly. 
and that is connecting you to your body. Practice it. Then you ask yourself to see and speak to your inner feminine or your masculine energy. And you trust in what comes up from you, whether it is information, whether it's thoughts or visual image or a flash of a memory, you allow whatever it is to come up. Don't push it away. Allow it to come freely. Then you hold a conversation with this part of you, just like you have a, 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 a like you just have a conversation with someone. You would talk to this part of you, but it comes up. Do not push it away. You let it come in. You talk with this part of you, and you ask what it needs or what may be troubling it. What may be the situation that's causing you to try to shut it down? You talk to it, you address it. Then you ask how you can help it to be more healthy and how to be more available. Stay focused and you stay center focused and stay true to yourself. You allow it to come. Do not, you do not suppress this. Just allow it to come out. Then your inner feminine may request more self-nurturing time, which increases the loving relationship you have with your body and with your mind. So when you feel what it is speaking, you got to submit to it. And you got to give it what it wants, what it's asking. Or the feminine energy, if you are turning into your other side, to your masculine energy side, then you may need to be more direct at work or speak up about a relationship issue that has been weighing on you for a while. You gotta address it. Whatever it is, you got to address it. You got to acknowledge it because it's the truth is now being revealed and it's showing you how to balance it, showing how you balance your masculine energy, how to balance your uh, feminine energy energy and it's showing you what it needs more of and then you have to do exactly what it's saying so you can gain power and control and so you can be settled within at peace with it okay so by gaining awareness of each energy we can begin to create mindfulness and live an authentic life. And that's what we want to get to that place. But we can't get to mindfulness, that place of your present now, that living in the now moment and being your true authentic self until you got to address issues. You got to address negativity. You got to address all these things that's trying to hold you to your lower density, your ego state of being. You got to stand up to it. And you got to take back your power from your ego and all those things that had come to control you and has put you at a place where you are serving it. No, you got to turn the table on it. Take back your power and you detach, you detach yourself from things that no longer serve you. You are in the driver's seat, not the ego. You got to let it go and you got to go with the flow of it. Our energy is so powerful. And if we start to play around with it, then we can begin to connect back to who we really are. Regardless of our external pressures and the social norms that we go through and face, all day or every day in our lives, you gotta play around with it. You gotta allow it to come in, spend time with you, play around with you, find the different roles where you can put yourself into it. And it will start revealing who you really are. It will start revealing your purpose, your divine purpose, your higher, greater self. No matter what 
all the external pressures and the social norms that has fed you all your lives, you, now you're eliminating all these things and you're putting those things in its place back to this lower place. You're taking the seat of power. In combining the masculine and the feminine energies, which is called the yin and the yang, they call the female the yin and the male the yang, we are able to bring balance back into our lives and trust to our emotional and our mental states. And we are able to step into our personal flow. And that is so important. Go with the flow. We got to step into that flow because we are flowing. Like I said, we're going up, up to our higher, greater consciousness self. It's like a, like I said, it's like a current, a, a river. And, 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 and the river is going up with the current and it's moving. We want to be moving upward out of your lower intensity, out of your lower state of consciousness, out of your subconscious and all this uh, lies and all these things that the uh, ego played these games with our lives and had us going through all kinds of negativity and, 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 and negative vibes and living in all this negative energy and all this stuff, you know, no, we are a higher, greater conscious state of being. We are in the flow, get into the flow of life. Many people have been taught to either ignore those opposing qualities or that they should grow out of them, that is a big mistake. Go with the flow. Letting go of things that no longer serve you. Trust the universe, trust the power within you, the God that is within you. You have the power of God in you. He created you, I said, in his likeness and in his image. And he called you male or female, you are what God says you are. But you are male energy and female energy. We are both. We have both within us. And that's something that you don't have to shy away from. The creator, I say, he makes no mistakes. He is perfect in all his ways. He knows exactly how he created us and the way that he wants us to be. Our job is to get out there and find out how he created us, why he created us, and the reason why these things are the way it is, and why we are entertaining things in our lives that we don't know how to manage or control because we have fear factors and we're afraid what people are going to say about us or how they look at us and they say, oh, you're weird, you're a widow, you're a freak, and all this stuff. I am what God created me, and God didn't create me a freak, a weirdo, or gay, or any other thing. He created me in his likeness, in his image, and he said I was good and very good. Perfect in all of my ways because he said that be ye perfect even as your father is perfect. Be ye perfect. So guys, I'm just telling you, we got to get away from stupidity and people's programming. Many people have been taught to either ignore these opposing qualities or they should grow out of them. And I'm saying, for example, a young girl may be called a tomboy, and I know you've heard a lot. And if she enjoys digging in the dirt for worms or playing sports more than playing with dolls, and they label her, oh, she's a tomboy, she's a tomboy. We heard that, because the creator didn't say that. So you know like I said, who you gonna be? Who's the report you gonna be? You be me. But, as I said, because she likes that, that's just the, the male energy that's within her. She's not a tomboy. She is a girl who has an outward expression of her masculine energy. Now another example, a boy who wanted to play with dolls may have been classified as a sissy. And they tell you, no little boys, you can't play with dolls, you're a sissy, you're gonna come a faggot. Ignorance, it's a bliss. And we have been ignorant all our lives because this is how society has taught us and has brainwashed us, manipulated us to believe such stupidities, things, and thoughts, and all these things has attached itself to our way of life. Now we gotta detach ourselves away from that. No, it's okay for boys to play with dolls. It's okay. And then another thing I always tell, well, boys don't cry, men don't cry. That's a lie. We all cry. We all got feelings and emotions. We have to express those things. Crying is a good thing. 
it purges and cleanses us and help us to be able to gain power over the thing that thought that it had us wrapped around in a place where we would never be freed from. But it's okay, little boys. You come so okay. You're not a sissy. You're not a sissy because you want to play with dolls. You're not a sissy or you're weak because you cry and you express your feelings, boy. In truth, that boy is expressing his feeling and qualities through nurturing. And in turn, he is making himself a great father in the future. He's preparing to be a great father through the learning of, of nurturing and caring for dolls. He's going to be a great phenomenal dad, a great role model. So I see these behaviors myself. Like I said, I see them all the time because I work with children. I work in a child care environment setting all day long. And I watch my little kids. My girls go out there. They play hard and rough with cars and trucks and on their knees and running around and flipping and doing all these things that they say boys should do. I see my girls doing these things all the time. Then I watch my boys so colorly and comfortable sitting over there in the corner rocking the doll baby or, or, or bathing the doll baby and wrapping it in blankets and hugging it and kissing it. And they are no sissy. They are learning how to nurture. They're learning how to be able to become the greater, higher self, who they really are. And they're developing true love at an early age. So when they get to an older age, when they start having their children, they know the experience of loving and caring and nurturing children. I see this. I see these behaviors. And I see these patterns all day with my young boys and my young girls at my child care center. Like I said, my girls play rougher with cars and trucks than my little boys many times. And then, like I said, it's my little boys. They're the one that would say, okay, let's change activity. And you know, we're we going to go get an activity with boys. I'm going to play with dolls. And they rush and fight to get to the dolls before the girls do. Because they want to nurture, they want to love, because that's the side of them in them. It's teaching them how to be a better father when they get into that place where they start having their children. But guys, as labels are slowly drifting down the stream, because people are now stepping up to their greater and higher self and they're worrying more about who they are. If you are not afraid and you are not coward to stand up and to know that there are greater or higher power within you and that you are not what the ego and what this world matrix system has programmed and labeled you to be, if you are standing up now, then you're going to allow all this negative thinking, all these negative thoughts, this negative energy, and all these negative vibes and everything that been told you that you are and but you are not. You're going to start standing up in your greater power. And these labels are going to be stripped away from you. And they're going down the stream. But you must reckon the balancing act in yourself. you got to stand up and say, I am willing to learn more about what the creator God has created me to be, the person that I am, why I am the way I am, why I do the things that I do. It's a reason because he has a divine purpose for your life. Know thyself. The universe has male and female expressions. And you are no different. And you live into that. That's it. You live into that, but you cannot dismiss it. You cannot shy away from it. You cannot throw it out with the bath, with the baby with the bath water. You just got to stand up and be bold about it. And you got to stand up and say, hey, I know the universe has my back. You got to know and you got to want to grow into your greater and higher self. And you got to allow the soul consciousness to be your guide and guide you to your higher greater self and let go of the ego patterns and the forms and the things that the ego has said that you were baby you are beautiful you are powerful man you are handsome you are dynamic you are a force to be reckoned with and that's it just another little piece of the male and the female energies so you can get a little more knowledge 
If you're in the back seat of this car while Destiny's driving this vehicle, I'm taking you to places where you can gain more knowledge and more information. There will, when you get there, there will be some phenomenal, powerful teachers with information that will open all of what I have gave you a brief overall summary of. They're going to tell you more about this knowledge, but you're going to have to be willing and ready to receive it. And I'm going to continue to keep dropping more videos of teachings of other teachers who are well experienced with many years of trainings, had workshops and all these different things and therapy sections and all that. They can help you. They have quizzes out there that can help you to balance these two energies. And you got to know which energy is more dominant, which energy within you is more powerful. Like I said, you got to know male, if the female or the male energy which one is the more dominant force in you? And females, you got to know which energy, the male, the female, male energy, which is the more dominant energy within you. You are okay. You got to say, I'm okay. Believe that whatever you are, whatever you're going through in life, whatever you may experience, it's not what society wants you to believe. You're not a freak. I'm going to say it again. You're not a weirdo. You're not all those things that they are labeled you. You are your divine, authentic, beautiful, handsome and perfect self and that's where the creator is trying to get you to be and on that further note guys this is part two of the video on the male and female energies and Justin will be back at another video it's, it's how you that the creator gives it to me like I said I am the vehicle I'm driving it. come on get on this side I got somewhere to take you you want to know more? Yes, yes, get inside. I like the enthusiasm. I like the excitement. Come on, where we go? We, we, guys, when we all get there, you got to, you're going to have to have a whole set down because it's going to be a big buffet of teaching about our higher, greater self that we are locked down under fear and pain and, and lies and deceptions of everything everybody else ever told us. It's time to detach ourselves away from that. Come on, let's keep driving. Because we got knowledge and information out there that the creator God wants you to get. He created you in his likeness and he created you in his image. He created us male and female. And God is our masculine energy. We call him Father. And the earth, mother, God, your nature is our feminine energy. Guys, I said before, you are God and goddess. God and goddesses. I'm through. I'll see you at the next video. I hope y'all got something out there. I'll see you at the next video. I hope you got something out there. If you're not, just stay in the car. Stay there. I'm, I'm a perfect good driver. I've been taught to how to take this wheel. And I'm taking you for more high information. So check the description boxes. I will be dropping more information of different teachers who will help you. On that further note, I thank you, Creator, for my job. To, I thank you for appointing me to be able to drive the vehicle with all these people who are searching for knowledge and wisdom. They are excited. So let me drive them perfectly straight there so we won't have no wrecks getting there because they got to get the information. Post your comments in the comment box below. If you have come into the knowledge of who you are and your greater higher self, post your comments. See you at the next video. Namaste. Love you guys.